I love being a Cornell vet student and I came here for a reason um, and I miss it. I miss seeing everybody. I miss seeing my professors. I miss, you know, the, the horses at the equine research park. I think it's like an overwhelming feeling when you can look around the room at all of your, well, room, <laughs> <laughs> uh, virtual room at all your classmates and everyone's kind of having the same well, yeah, like this is hard and this is rough, but as future veterinarians, you know, this is our job. This is our, this is what we were trained to do. You know, we're public servants and like, this is, we're responsible for people's public health as well. I think Cornell Vet and Dr. Radcliffe in particular um, has been amazing in responding to very quickly to concerns, student concerns and saying like, what can we do for you to make this worthwhile? Please don't drop this class, not because they're concerned necessarily about their enrollment numbers, but more because they want us to exit this place as really, really strong equine clinicians. Yeah, I mean, I think we can all agree that like virtual learning is not anything we all expected to do. It's not anything we really wanted to do. It's not really what we signed up for, but having to do it, I think that all of the clinicians in the hospital have really stepped up. They've all put a huge amount of effort in while they're still trying to run the hospital. Oh, you know, they're, they're in the hospital on four day shift rotations and they're still churning out lectures. I really am starting to feel hopeful again because beyond, you know, yes, we're all disappointed. Yes, this and that. Um, to see faculty, staff, and clinicians getting really excited about this proposed model just makes me hopeful.